Hey everybody, it's Rohan here from the Absolute Game of Nerds. Just wanted to do another quick video. Um, did a little LCS hunting today. Uh, the LCS I go to, I go to at least once a month, probably just to check in and um, say hi. And I like kind of chatting it up with the owner, Jeff. He's a cool guy. He's been, uh, had his shop for over 30 years. Um, so anyways, on Tuesday, when that James Gunn announcement came out, I was like, hmm. Now, I should caveat this. I am not a speculator with comic books. I don't I don't recommend it. I don't really want to do it. That being said, if you were to do it, I would recommend the only way to do it is if you can find things in dollar bins, right? The cheap stuff. Don't go, you know, buying it, you know, for big money, right? If you can find it in some cheap bins because no one's uh, ever thought about it before, can't can't hurt anything, right? And so Jeff at his store has got a ton of these 50% off bins and kind of dollar bins, a couple dollar bins. So I was like, hmm, let's go take a look. And sure enough, I did find one. Uh, and it is Batman 657. Oops, there you are. Uh, this being the first cover uh, of Damian Wayne. Uh, Damian Wayne, of course, is going to be the new Robin in that Brave and the Bold Batman movie that James Gunn talked about. So a couple bucks, picked it up, figured why not. He did not have um, the first cameo or first appearance. So that was book 657. 655. Uh, is the first cameo where I think you see him in the shadows. And then in 656 is the first full appearance where he is in the last panel, I believe. So there, 657 uh, is the first cover. Uh, and I got one other one. Again, another one found kind of just in the couple dollars. Um, so many of you may follow the 9.9 .9 newsstand. Uh, Manu, who runs that feed, uh, he and I chat often. He's kind of become a good buddy. Uh, and we're actually going to interview him here in a couple weeks. Uh, but he's always uh, talking about Wizards, right? Specifically that Wizard one, and he has mentioned this one a couple times, but uh, his influence is definitely picked up here because I saw it. Normally, I would not even have cared, but I was like, a couple bucks, Wizard, you know, there's, things are getting kind of popular again. So this one is Wizard number 11, right? This is the other uh, one that Todd McFarlane did, and it's got that, uh, where are we at here? Spawn card with it. So it's just a cool cover by Todd McFarlane. I'm not even a big Spawn guy, um, let alone a wizard guy, but again, it's just like, I can pick it up for a couple bucks. Um, why not? Um, also while I was there, it was cool about Jeff. I mean, cool. If that's what you want to think out. Uh, he, like I said, he's been doing this for like 30 something years. Um, so he's kind of not too concerned with having to turn over a lot of big stuff. So a lot of, he gets these collections and if there's big stuff in it, he tends to keep it for his own PC cause he's kind of into it now and he doesn't need to make the big bucks anymore on, on his books. Um, so he has this guy that constantly is coming in now who's been buying books since like the 60s from just the same shop for cover price since the 60s. And he's been and he stored them. And so he gets all these high grade, uh, just beautiful books. Um, so obviously I didn't buy any of them. He's keeping these for his PC. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to show you. So I took a couple photos. Uh, the first one is this one here. Uh, it is Detective Comics 359. Of course, it is the first appearance of Batgirl Barbara Gordon, right? Uh, you see this one often in, a, I see it often, at least you should say, but in a much lower grade, um, kind of in the 2.0 to 4.0 range, probably. And you can always see like that purple shows all the color breaks and everything really well. But this one, man, especially in person, this picture doesn't even do it justice how like bright and vibrant this one is. So this is a nice high grade copy uh, that Jeff snagged. The next one, same kind of thing. Another book I see often, but in low grade, especially like this one, I see a lot of like 1.8s in uh, and, and they're just kind of beat to beat to all. But this one, I mean, another just beauty. It's a Sp Amazing Spider-Man Annual 1. It is the first appearance of the Sinister Six. And just look again, look at those colors. This thing was vibrant. Again, another one where the picture doesn't do it justice. Uh, and then another one that you do see this one often, uh, just another book. Uh, and it's actually the next book that I'm going to be hunting or building a pot for uh, since I've just completed my hunt for 181. Um, and this one you do see in all grades, right? From low to high, there's a lot of them out there. And it is uh, Punisher... Or, Amazing Spider-Man 129. Again, I didn't, this is not a photo of his. It's just a copy I pulled up. I didn't take a picture. His was a graded 9.2 that he's keeping for himself. Um, again, you, you could find 9.2s quite regularly. They are more expensive than I'm going to spend on this book. Um, I'm going to look for more of a mid-grade one, and that's what I'm kind of building my pot for. I've got some books up for sale that I'm trying to move to do so. 
uh, but it's just an awesome, awesome book, right? One of the all time covers. Uh, and if you saw our covers episode, this is definitely one that is on my, I guess we haven't done the bronze age one, but when we get to the bronze age, this one's definitely on my bronze age top covers. Uh, anyways, that is all I have for today. Like I said, just another quick short one for you. Um, hope you enjoyed stuff like this. JP and I are going to try and do a few more things like this to add some content to the channel. That's not a full on podcast. So looking forward to the next one. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, let me know what you're hunting in the comments. Hit us up anytime you want to talk comic books. Later. <laughs>